Situation. Okay, so those were the three questions we talked about. Okay. So now we are going to go and look for information. So you can write down under the information heading what do you think is important information. So let's start with uh, the first uh, part, which was the twin deficits of the 1980s. So can you put up your hand if you were reading the twin deficits of the 1980s? No, oh, I didn't get that part. We started with a benign resolution. Page page seven, escalating current account deficits. Yes. Uh, page six, new economy of the late nineties. No, oh, I started on page seven, okay. So then hands up who did page seven, escalating current account deficits? One, two. So escalating means going up. Okay? So we're going to talk about the going up current account deficits. So what's the this might help us to answer why does the US have a current account deficit, right? So what's the main information here? I can guess part is the possessable of why you as a current as US as current account into the deficit it will escalate. Okay. And the first main reason the in two thousand the dark com bubble burst. This is the first reason of the escalating current account deficit. So the dot com bubble burst yeah. two thousand. Second, in spite of this worsening fiscal situation, the U.S. current account deficit continued to be bounded largely by official investors from foreign central bank in this situation. In spite of this, okay. So foreign central banks still continued yes. to buy. The U.S. bonds, or we can call them U.S. Treasuries, yes. U.S. government bonds. Okay. Despite this bad economic situation and the fiscal deficit, yes. right? Not combo reverse fiscal deficit. Do you understand fiscal deficit? If the dot com bubble bursts, if the U.S. Government getting more income tax or less income tax? Less. Well, especially less corporation tax, okay, from the companies. So they have worse fiscal deficit, but foreign central banks continue to buy the US, or lend money to the US. Okay. Yes. And in addition, the US monitor and the US government to sustain their strategies or supported low US interest rate. Okay, so the US have made a low interest rate? Yes. And but in contrast of the ASEAN or Europe, the against in the their uh, strategy such 
the U.S. more control their government and again is the uh, Euro and ASEAN. Mm -hmm. So what does this, what happens? What, how does the low interest rate affect the current kind of deficit? Think about savings and investment. If there's a low interest rate, are people going to save more money? No. No, right? So US low interest rate meant that we had low savings. And what? Higher? What? Okay, so they're investing in assets or consuming, right? Higher spending. So if I have a low interest rate, I can get a car loan to buy a Toyota car. Okay? So we can see they can still buy the imports with the low, the low interest rate. Why are the foreign central banks continuing to buy the US treasuries, even though the US economy has a problem? Why do the foreign central banks, in this case not the European, the Asian central banks, mainly Asian, right? So why are the Asian central banks still buying US bonds, even though the US has an economic problem? Usually if a country has an economic problem, we don't want to lend them money. Why would they continue to lend the money at low interest rates, even though the U.S. has economic problem? Maybe to improve the situation, because the U.S. is the main market for Asian products. Right. So they, they want to improve the competitiveness of their exports by buying U.S. dollars, right? So we explained about this before. If the Asian countries buy the US dollars, what's going to happen? Which currency is going to get stronger and which one is going to get weaker? US dollars get stronger and foreign currency get weaker. Yes, so that's their idea, right? They want to improve the competitiveness of their exports. The US is their main customer. So if the US dollar gets very weak, then the U.S. won't be buying their exports because their exports are too expensive. So they want to continue to buy the U.S. dollars. If I buy U.S. dollars, U.S. government bond is a good way because I get, I get in, paid interest by the U.S. government every year. Okay, so we can see that uh, we, can, we see that the impact of the exchange rate, we can understand here about the exchange rate, okay? And we can understand about the savings and investment, right? Inside the country. Savings, investment, and interest rates. So we can see how one crisis can cause these things to happen, okay? Other knock-on effects. Because of this crisis, the interest rate is reduced, okay? Because the interest rate is reduced, people don't save as much money. They're not getting any interest if I save money. So they're also getting loans, getting more loans and spending more money. This is making the current account deficit worse. If these guys didn't buy the US treasuries, then it wouldn't be as easy to have a low interest rate. Okay? Because they're buying the US treasuries, the demand for the US treasuries is going up, so the yield is lower. Okay? <coughs> so, uh, I think we explained about that before, but let's just review this point. So, if I'm buying a US bond for $1,000, 10,000, it's for 10 years, okay? And I pay $900 today, what is the yield? 100. The yield is, how much percent do I get every year? 
right? So we have to do a complicated calculation to find the yield, okay? But the, let's just say the yield is 5%, okay? So what about if, if we have a dot-com bubble burst? Usually, what should happen? Are people going to pay more money or less money for the bond? More money. The U.S. has an economic problem. Am I going to pay more money or less money for U.S. debt? This says the U.S. will pay me $1,000 in 10 years. Okay? <clears throat> so U.S. has an economic problem. Do I think the U.S. has a higher chance or lower chance of paying me back the money? Am I going to pay more money or less money? Less. If I pay less money, what's going to happen to the yield? Go up or go down? Go up, go up of course, right? If I pay less money, I'm making more profit. Okay? The yield is telling me how much profit I make a year. So that's going to go up to 8 or 9%. Okay? So that means that it's more expensive for the US government and the US people to, let, to borrow money. So they can't have the low interest rate here. Okay? Unless they print money themselves and buy their own debt, which is we'll see they did later. Okay? So if the, the other countries continue to buy the US debt, its yield is going to stay the same or low. Okay? Do you understand? Yes. In this case, the US has a crisis, people stop buying US debt. But US had a crisis, people didn't stop. They continued to buy the US debt. Because they want, because of the exchange rate. They want to keep the exchange rate favorable. And US has a low interest rate, so we end up with higher <coughs> current account deficit. So do you have any question about that part? So just by studying the case, we're learning about those things or reviewing about those things as we go. So then uh, Soft or hard landing for the U.S. economy? Yeah. Yes. So what's, this is a short part, right? Yes. So what's the point here? Raj Depis of America. Soft or hard landing? Soft landing means everything will be okay. Hard landing, if you jump out the window, you're going to have a hard landing. Everything is not going to be okay. You'll break your leg. Okay, soft landing, you can land on the cushion. It's okay. Yeah, so what's the point here? Mm -hmm. Oh, issue is large deficit of America. Yes. What about the large deficit? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what about the large deficit? Ah. It is includes optimistic set and pessimistic set. Okay, so we discussed in the introduction, okay? Yeah. So we already have this in our problem. So this is like summing up again our problem. Some people think the US will have soft landing, the imbalance could be done very well. Some people think the US could have a hard landing, or the world economy could have a hard landing. So then the next time, uh, we'll continue. So some people, maybe you already prepared your part, but we didn't talk about it today. We'll talk about it in the next class.